Just doing a quick fight and check here. Got a winner's finals match. Got to see if somebody can stop Justin. So far, the closest anybody came to stopping him is Air sends him to losers and King of Fighters with a really nice 3 0 performance. Then Justin ran it back in grand finals, unfortunately. So far, of the five tournaments we've had this weekend, he's won four of them. Why did we invite this guy? <laughs> So I think this is a good fit for Brian in this game. It's a nice, patient, lame style. Really pays off well for him. So here we go. Rufus, chun -Lin versus Rolento and Steve. Justin's got some nice tricks with his team. It's a really powerful pairing of characters. Right, you see that got in there with the jumping fierce. Unfortunately, he couldn't confirm to a full combo. This time he does. He's going for the Steve combo. The spacing was wrong though. When Steve's jabs missed, the combo ended prematurely. Stops a dive kick with a stand jab. That jump cats will close roundhouse from Chun-Li. Turns into a really nice combo after a tag. Steve's still out there. So yesterday when we saw Ricey the playing, he was trying to keep his Rolento on screen whenever he could. I think he's got more confidence in his Rolento's ground game. There it is. Brings Rolento back in, but the spacing on that side was way off. He's going to get a take combo into Chun Li. Now Chun's probably going to do something into legs, smash out the legs. Oh, caught with the counter combo. Gets it a few more hits. Pogo stick, same side. Some jab pressure, tried to walk up into the throw, but. That kind of stuff doesn't work too well in this game. Throw's got 7 frame startup. It's really hard to set him up the way you need. Just as he's coming. Gets him with the air roundhouse. Takes him with jumping fears. Getting him with the dive kick. Caught him with the X Messiah. And that was it on its own. Didn't even need to tag. So he's going into the next round. He's got two stocks to right see this. Three quarters. Tag combo. Chun Li coming in. Gets some damage. Space him out. There it is. Some legs. It's now a quarter circle forward motion. Slide whips. Gets whip punished. Alpha counter. Didn't get his extra hits after it though. Oh man. Pogo stick. Gets him with a slide. Whips his grab. Gets punished with a sweep. Shut me. Take combo. Wall bounce. Roundhouse. Roundhouse. Sweep. Off to stand up in place, Justin baited the EX wall dive. Had enough time to try for the throw on the ground when he saw a whiff, he was able to jump for it. Not sure what's up with that guy in the background. Looks like his skateboard is strapped to his feet. So much to tell him that's not how you skateboard. Sly gets under the dive kick. Catches up, throws a knife. Counter hit. Gets a little bit extra damage there. Pogo stick, same side. Trades with Proof is crouching strong anti air. Jab pressure to a throw. Throw whiffs. Thankfully, he didn't get punched too hard for it, but he got opened up right after that. Chun Li's coming in. Jumping combo. So far, strong with the legs buffing into it. Goes to take combo from Rolento. Steve got the combo this time. Recognized that his Rolento stands a little bit better chance at the ground game. Takes it back in. It's full screen. Standing around doing the lane thing. He's in a really nice range with that. Billy Club or whatever it is he's got. Back it up, counter hit. Gets actually a little bit of damage. Second of the record whiffs. Chun Li jumps with the target combo. Ooh, man, counter hits. She didn't turn into too much, but the counter hit jumping roundhouse does a hundred damage on its own. Still, Justin's got the life disadvantage here. Valento with a slight lead, I'd say maybe 10%. Chun Li jumping back. Justin was talking about 
Managing your character's meters, there is the opportunity. He's looking for a take combo. Goes back to Chubby. Back to Rufus. Chubby sacrificed some great health there. Doesn't really matter. Relento's gonna die. Justin takes the first round of the second game. Even down to the half pipe. Seeing that Yan Yang are actually terrible skateboarders kind of makes sense. They probably spend all their time practicing their kung fu. Go for a direct for a little bit more damage off the counter hit air attack. That wouldn't have been a safe slide, but it worked out for him anyway. Ooh, nice anti air. What if that thing's got a disembodied hitbox like it would have in Marvel? Blocks the overhead. Gets him with a jab. And the slide whiffs. Gets punished right away. Chubby coming in, takes back to Rufus. Target combo towards Fierce. The space in his right so he can get to the sidekick follow up. He's hard into damage scaling there. Charged up. Next hit's gonna be a counter hit, but he gets tossed, and that's it. That's game two. Goes to Justin now. He's up 2 0 in the winner's finals. Back into it. Come on, Brian, get the board here. I know you can do it. Cross up gets blocked. Confirms. Steve combo. It's a full screen. Leave Steven this time. Dashes in. Oh, Rufus. Finished his chain combo prematurely. Could have taken out there. Had the hit. Got another hit. There it is. Chunny's coming in. Close roundhouse. Stomp. Target combo. Hops not the fast end after that. Steve gets out of the pressure with the alpha counter. Full strong, just turn into the biggest combo of all time. Gets a little bit of damage though. Just the blocks low, that one's kind of telegraphed. 2 0. Yep. Stan Jad checks the dive kick again. Steve's getting in there, trying to stop Rufus. Steve's only got about 20%. Rufus only has to with one dive kick, and that's it. Good blocking so far. Oh, there it is. Combo. Oh man, he didn't even need to take back to Rufus. So Justin wins the first round in the third game. He's already up 2 0. Sitting on match points here. This will put him in grand finals and win his side again. I was picking for him. He jabs is going to scale the combo pretty bad. Finishes Steve combo. Steve Steve in goes with the overhead, gets blocked. Take combo to Chubby. Alpha counter. Is that really the alpha counter? Uh, I really gotta pay more attention to the meters here. Alright, Steve get in. Got a hit. Wasn't able to link anything after it. Don't know too terribly much about this character. Rufus with a sweet tech roll. He thought Racing was gonna stand up in place. Okay, there's a combo. Goes to the super. I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough. Man, the super looks nasty. Punch, punch, punch. Is the last one gonna be enough? No, he's got the tiniest little tick left. Rufus got a full bar. He lets him out. Chun Li comes in. She's got 90% life left. Slide, not safe. Punish, take combo back to Rufus. It's gonna be the exact same thing. Saya, take back to Chun Li. Close roundhouse. Oh, it missed. Chun Li takes the damage. Take combo to Steve. Steve in there. Combo, full screen. Oh no, he didn't get the take he was looking for. He wanted to get out there a lot sooner than that. Oh, got her. Push combo sweep. There you go. Don't get opened up here, Brian. Lame it out. Keep it lame. The only way you can lose is if she takes out Relento. Stay lame. Stay lame. Four seconds. Don't get opened up. Two seconds. One second. All right. There you go. Brian gets on the board. Ties it up in the third game here. Ooh, throws a knife. He just jumped right over it. Saya and Log 2 down for so long, Chenley jumps in. Justin's meter management is really good. He's setting up a lot of great opportunities for himself here. Oh man, the roundhouse Messiah is still connected. Dive kick pressure drops the chain. Catching fiercely relents. So anyway, this is gonna be it. Justin Warren is going on the grand finals. Rice Heater is gonna go to the losers, where he's gonna play CCG Air, whom he sent to losers yesterday. In an entertaining stream match.